Hello and welcome to SA Group Text. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use this app, especially how to edit import Excel files. First, let's briefly introduce the main features of this app. Like many other group messaging apps, you could select groups or contacts on your phone to send messages. And you can also edit messages and recipients in Excel on your PC. Why Excel? Well, first, it's more quick and efficient to edit text on computer. Second, maybe you don't want to keep thousands of clients' phone numbers on your phone, maintain them in Excel is a very good way. Last and most important, in Excel, your group messages can be really customized. Which means, you can not only send group messages like this, all recipients' messages are identical. But also like this, messages change based on recipients. The third feature is that you can set times for Excels. This app can automatically send messages at the set times. And, you will get a sending result report, showing which are sent successfully and which are failed. Next, we'll look at how to edit the import files in Excel. Here are three sample files. They achieve three different sending effects. Take note that your Excel files should be in Excel 97-2003 format, with the XLS suffix, not XLSX. There are three keywords you are going to use in your Excel. Message, to and mobile, which are highlighted in orange. Looking at the first example, if each recipient receives exactly the same content, you could use this template. Fill your message content here. Under the column mobile fill all recipients phone numbers. Now to the second one. The sample is more complicated. The only difference between them is that we insert tags into the message in this sample. Tags are highlighted in purple. Use curly braces to enclose tags. It doesn't matter what you fill between the curly braces as long as you keep all tags consistent with the column headers here. Tags will be replaced by the content defined here when sending. For example, when sent to the first person, the tag parent will be replaced with Mr. Wilson and English score will be replaced with 85. So this will give the first recipient a message like this, and the second is like this. Now the third one, the sample applies to the case that the message is different for everyone. I believe you can understand this file pretty easily. Okay now. Our import files are ready. It's time to import. I'll introduce two ways to import files. First from your phone's storage card, second via Wi-Fi. To import from storage, you need to connect your phone with your PC or Mac using USB cable and copy your files to your phone. One thing to note is that users of Android 4.4 or later need to put import files in your phone's internal storage. You can't keep them at external SD card because the third-party applications may not be able to access. Launch the app, you will stay on the files page. The whole process contains six steps. Just follow them. Click Choose File for Import, SD Card, Next, and App opens the default folder. Click Parent Path to browse your file. Or you can go to the setting page, change the default folder. Now let's try the way of Wi-Fi. Please make sure your phone and computer connect to the same route. They should be in the same network. Launch the app, click Choose File for Import. Click Wi-Fi, click Next. And a pop-up tip appears. It tells us to enter the generated address into our browser. OK, let's try. Open your browser on your computer, enter the address shown on the screen. Hit the enter key, an import page shows up. Browse file. Click import. Now back to our phone, you'll find that the file has been imported. After import, you can still edit messages and recipient. Preview the messages we're going to send. 
All tags have been replaced. Pretty good. Click send. OK, it's done. I only put four recipients in this file. Just for demonstration. You can put thousands of recipients if you need. Click step 5 to save the sending result report. The sending report is very useful. It tells you which messages are successfully sent, failure or unsent. You can import this report and send again. This app will only send to those that are failed or unsent. You can also send by scheduling. Click step 6, and set a time for your file. Switch to the schedule page, you can find all your schedules here. We force users who need to send a large number of messages by scheduling. It runs in the background and is much more reliable. Here are all the basic operations of SA Group Text. We have one final tip for you. Android has the limit that you can only send 100 messages within one hour without intervention. If you need send more than 100 messages within one hour, please go to the app setting page, find download group SMS plugin to raise the cap. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to contact us via email. We'll always here to help. Thanks for watching.